This movie will show you how you can use the Moodle forum for a very basic peer assessment task. First you need to go to the course where you want to do the peer assessment and turn on your editing. Ignore the news forum, only teachers can post to that. And go to add an activity, forum. Our students are going to upload some wordles as images practicing French verbs and I'm going to get them to give each other a grade. We're going to use the average of all of the grades that the pupils have done in the class. I'm using for this a single simple discussion to keep it simple and then after you've done the instructions the most important thing to do is to scroll down to grade. In this particular instance, as I said, I'm going to choose the average. I'm going to ensure that every student rates everyone else's submission once. And then I am going to have it set as a maximum mark of 20. So I'm using the numbers, simple numbers scale. After that, it's up to you which of the other settings you want to edit. But once you're happy with that, then we scroll down to the very bottom and save and return to course. Next we just need to check that the forum is working properly and that it's ready for them to upload their wordles. But after that we have to change the permissions so that the students are actually enabled to grade each other's work. For that we go to the course administration block, assign roles, and we're looking for the tab that says override permissions. When we click on that we go to the student role and there are a whole load of permissions, capabilities that we're just going to scroll all the way down until we can see the heading for forum. In there, there are three that I would like to change. First of all, we need to enable the students to rate posts. So we click on the second button along, which will, them allow, which will allow them to do that. But I don't want my students to be able to see who's given who which grade. So I also wish to prevent, which is the third button along, view any ratings and view ratings. That way, although they can grade, they can't actually see who is given any other grades. Now we're going to log in as our favourite student, Johnny Depp, to see what it looks like from the student's point of view. And a couple of students have already uploaded their wordles, so Johnny can grade or rate them. You can disable his ability to reply in permissions if you want to. I've left it there, but underneath that is the rate, and he's going to give Annette 10. We scroll down and look at Justin's, which isn't quite as good, so he's going to get a slightly less grade. After that, you need to send in your ratings, but then if we come back a little while later to see what it looks like once other people have actually rated Johnny's. He's still got his grades that he's given to the others and he doesn't know if anyone else has given any grades. If he scrolls down to his own that he uploaded, we can see that he's allowed to view the average. Two people have graded him and he's an average of 6 out of 20. But if Johnny actually clicks on that to get some more information, he's not allowed to see precisely who gave him which grade. However, teachers, of course, can see everything. If we now log in as a teacher, we can see that in the case of Annette, one person gave her 10 out of 20. And if we click on that 10 out of 20, we are allowed to see who it is, and it tells us that that was Johnny. Similarly, if we go down to the bottom and we look at Johnny's grade, his average grade, two people, six out of 20, as the teacher, we can see who those two people were and what grade they gave him. We can also do this via the grade book. So if we go to course administration, grades, we get the list of the students with their grades there in a slightly different way. There's the 10, there's the 6.